Yvonne and I have a lot of goodies for you today. I went to the drugstore. I've also um, went to the Dogwood Festival um, a couple days ago. So I have a lot of good things that I want to show you. So if you are interested in what I got, stay tuned. Hi everyone. Well, the first thing I want to talk to you about is the things that I got from the Dogwood Festival. Now, the Dogwood Festival comes around once a year, right around April 27th through the 28th, and that's a time where you can bring the family and friends downtown, and we have live music. There's a lot of different vendors that come from all of the surrounding areas, and they bring their goodies down for us to purchase. And what I really enjoy about the Dogwood Festival is that they always have one of a kind purchases so I try to save up a little bit of money with the um, upcoming Dogwood Festival in order for me to be able to you know look around the uh, Dogwood Festival so I can find some goodies so the first thing I want to talk about is a necklace that I got now whenever I go to the Dogwood Festival the first thing that I'm drawn to is the one-of-a-kind jewelry and every year I seem to find something that is really unique and something really you know cool so I got a necklace with matching earrings from Designs by Roe, their custom-made jewelry. Um, Robin O'Connor is the artist, and they are located in Greensboro, North Carolina. And when I received the, when I purchased the necklace, um, it came with a little card that gave you information if you want to um, possibly like them on Facebook or you know just to call them up and see you know the different types of handmade um, goodies that they have. Um, the purchase came in this little bag, this little uh, cheetah print bag that I really think is really cute. But the thing that I am so in love with is my owl necklace. Look at this. And when I saw it, I'm one of those type of people that whenever I see something, it has to literally like call my name like, Angela, you need to buy this. Angela, this look cute with what, you know, the things that you have at your home or it always give you an incentive to go buy something else. But I really enjoyed um, the detailing of this owl necklace. It's in like a little navy blue with um, black accents for the eyes and it's on a little link chain necklace and I think that this would be really cute just to throw on with a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. It came with matching earrings. Oops. Don't want to, I'm just going to put that on the floor. It came with matching earrings, but I'm not really a fan of matchy, matchy jewelry. So I'll probably just give these to my mom. But they also have little um, accents with little um, details in the, I don't know if you can see this, in the body of the owl. So I was really excited to get that because I knew that no one else would possibly have that necklace. The next thing I got... I am in love with candles. Every time I'm at a grocery store or if I'm at Walgreens or even if I'm just going by Bath and Body Works, I love the smell of candles. And I was so excited because I walked past um, Robbie Cole's um, booth and he specializes in homemade candles. So he was running a sale for four for twelve dollars so I picked up a couple of the scent candles and they are true to scent. They smell really really good. They come in these little cute mason jars and this one that I have right here is blueberry and blueberry is one of my favorite scents of all time. Um, they also I also picked up a Jamaican Me Crazy. I picked up a cucumber melon because no matter what the brand is cucumber melon just smells really good when lit up and it also reminds me of springtime and the last one I picked up was Hawaiian breeze and I picked this up um, like I said at Robbie Cole's booth and the candles are called handmade by Robbie Cole it's in Ellerby North Carolina and I will put the description and information below if you're interested in buying homemade candles okay next on the haul is my trip to Walgreens. Now whenever I go to Walgreens I always try to look for new products and I also try to look for sales because even though the products at Walgreens or any kind of drugstores are um, you know you would think that they would be a little bit less expensive that you have 
that you may get at a drug at a department store they can add up once you are just you know picking the colors and you're seeing ooh I want this one ooh I want this one but Walgreens what I like about Walgreens is that they always have some kind of sale on makeup um, home products uh, just home decor or just you can even get t-shirts at Walgreens and some of them are like four for ten dollars that if you know just little throw-ons wife beaters or t-shirts but when I went to Walgreens this time I picked up a mouthwash now I normally use Listerine mouthwash but I'm getting to the point where I'm wanting to um, explore more natural ingredients as far as what I'm putting into my body and what I'm putting into my mouth so when I saw this container first of all what drew me to it is that I love the container isn't this really cute it's um, called hello it's a serious friendly mouthwash I got it in the flavor of pink grapefruit mint um, I think the price was uh, I want to say it was $5.99 but right about this time you probably can get some discounts if you are a Walgreens member um, what I like about this is that it's 99% natural um, it feels really good in your mouth I've, I've been you know trying it out and what I also like about it is that they have like a makeshift cup I don't know if this is what they were wanting to use the top for but I use it it gives me just enough mouthwash to put in my mouth and I swish it around and my, it gives me a great clean feeling um, the on the back of the bottle it tells you all the yeses and no's and the hellos about the product um, yes it cleans yes it's freshens yes it's delicious and it even boasts to improve dating life. Um, it has no alcohol, artificial colors, harsh chemicals, and it's not, it doesn't hurt your mouth because sometimes mouthwashes are really strong and if you have sensitive teeth, you can, it just, sometimes it's just really, really painful. And it tells you to say hello to it being 99% natural, 99 natural, 100% nice. You just swish and greet freely. So I advise you to pick this up. They had other flavors, but I guess everyone is getting on the new product bandwagon and, you know, it was going pretty fast. They also have smaller containers, probably half this size. So if you're wanting to try to mouthwash, this Hello is something that I suggest that you should buy. Okay. The next thing on my list is the Sheer Moisture Hair Products. Now, I am a weave connoisseur. I love wearing weave. I love, you know, 18 inches, 20 inches. And I just, I... I just enjoy the the freedom that I have with my weave but right now I am going through a transition where I'm wanting to go 100% natural right now I am 100% natural and I have been looking for products that will um, put moisture back into my hair also make it soft and more manageable so I will you know somewhat forget about relaxing my hair in order for me to be able to get you know different styles so I have been looking all over YouTube and for some reason a majority of the natural gurus have been excited about sheer moisture so I decided to try out the products. The first product that I've tried was the sheer moisture deep treatment mask. It's with sea kelp and argan oil and when I tried out this product it was like my my hair had a hallelujah moment. It added moisture back into my hair because my hair had been really really dry because as you know whenever you wear weave yes you can wash over the weave but you really can't get a a serious deep conditioning until you take the weave out so I am in the process of getting my hair back healthy and getting it more um, full of moisture so I decided to try this mask out and I am in love with this sheer moisture drop deep treatment mask it has raw shea butter in it um, it, it started in 1912 um, it's good for dry damaged hair and it promotes healing growing strengthening and it's really thick I'll show it to you it's a really thick product and what I do is that I just take a whole bunch of it put it all over my hair I put it underneath a cap or maybe um, a, I like to put aluminum foil around my hair and then put a towel over it because it for some reason it deepens the treatment into my hair um, it uses it has for its ingredients is sea kelp which is mineral rich nutrition seals and smooths your hair cuticles argan oil restores shine while helping promote hair 
elasticity and shea butter deep moisturizes white conditioning hair and scalp and shea butter is one of those ingredients that is universal you can use it in your hair you can use it in your skin you can use it on your body it's just an all-around great product so I was really excited to get this mask for my hair the next products that I'm also using is the Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner and the Shea Moisture Moisture Retention Shampoo. Both of these both have sea kelp and argan oil on it and it's all natural products and that's what I'm really excited about is having products that I don't have to worry about what type of chemicals are going back into my hair because once you have you know relaxed your hair for a long period of time you have to train your hair to go back to its original state and with these two products once again they are all natural products they have no sulfates no parabens no filter fill 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 rates I can't read that no paraffin no gluten um, no mineral oil no PABA no synthetic color no DEA no animal ingredients it's just pure goodness for your hair and you should just go and try these out at Walgreens right now they are having a dollar off if you are a Walgreens member but you can also go to Shea Moisture's website and their Facebook pages because they are always telling you about different um, sales that are going on with their products and believe me I was sort of hesitant because you know you try different products when it's dealing with your hair but for me and for for what I've had so far, I am enjoying every minute of my hair being so manageable without having relaxers in it. Okay, the next product that I am using is also part of the Shea Moisture um, collection. I spray these two things in my hair. Um, I have a yucca and baoba. baoba? I think that's how you pronounce it. A thickening moisture mist with biotin and bamboo extract. It's for fine thin hair and it thickens, vol voluminizes, and softens your hair. And once again, it's an all natural product. And what I do with this is that I spray this in my hair every day because my hair it seems it looks like it could be thicker than what it is but it's sort of it's sort of thinned out because of the long time that I have been wearing weave so biotin I have read that it's really really good for strengthening your hair and also strengthening your nails so I was really excited to get this product right here um, and also I'm also using the reconstructive elixir it has sea kelp argan oil and shea butter and it's also for dry damaged hair um, it also promotes healing, growth, and strengthening for your hair. And I also spray this in my hair at night, and I spray it in the morning. I tie it up, or I'll plait my hair in two braids and wrap it up in a scarf and just let it work it ma its magic. Okay. The last but not least, I... It dropped. Oops. Okay, the last but not least is my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk with coconut oil, silk protein, and neem oil. I love this stuff. I put it in my hair um, maybe twice a week and it just makes my natural hair more manageable. Even though my hair is not natural, naturally curly, but it's not kinky it's in between but this seems to um strengthen it seems to add moistures to my hair and also um allows me to be able to manage it whenever i'm doing some kind of style this one has coconut oil silk protein and neem oil um it adds moisture, body, and shine, and I'm just really, really enjoying this product. And once again, you can find these products at Walgreens, or you can go to the Shea Moisture Facebook page, and they will um, direct you on what products may be good for your hair. But I'm just so excited about the products that I've just been trying different ones, and I have not been disappointed. The next product that I got was makeup. Now, I am not a makeup guru. Like, I know how to do my own makeup, but 
I am starting to get into different shades and things like that. I'm normally like, I like a clean looking face, a couple of lashes, maybe a little color on the lips. But um, a lot of the makeup gurus on YouTube have been talking about different products. So I decided to pick up a few while I was at Walgreens. Okay, the first two products that I picked up were the CoverGirl Lip Slicks. And I got these products in demure and I always like a little nude lip I'll swatch this for you you can't really see it has just a little slight color on it I don't know if you can see it on my skin but it just gives a little lip tint a little um, pop of color on your lips it's a, like a little cute surprise it's not too heavy but it moisturizes your lips and it just gives a little you know a little pinky color to your lips the other lip slip that I purchased was Daring, and this has a color payoff, as you can see right here. I don't know if you can see it that well, but I really enjoy these two lip slicks, and these are um, on sale right now at Walgreens. I think I purchased them as a buy one, get one free. You can always go to your Walgreens and find out if they have the same sales as you know other Walgreens but I got these you know buy one get one free and they're also some of them were also on the last minute items which I guess that means that they will no longer be holding carrying those items so get to your Walgreens and try these out the next two purchases that I got were the Revlon lip gloss and I got this color in 170 coral reef and as you can see right here and I'll put a swatch right here it has a slight color payoff also I don't know if you can see it but I would most likely wear these glosses over a lipstick just to intensify the color a little bit but you know this one right here I wasn't really a fan of but I know that I'll be able to find another use for it I know that I can't just wear it um, by itself because it looked like I ate a bunch of powdered donuts and my lips were really super ashy but this color right here was 150 and I can't really see the color of it but the number is 150 so I really enjoy these these have really good shine and um, I most likely will pair them up with another type of lipstick because I don't think for me that I could you know possibly wear this color by itself because like I said it just looked like I got hit in the face with a bag of flour the next purchases that I really 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 enjoy are the cover girl nature Lux. they are cute little gloss bombs and they are so they just feel really really good on your lips and I think that these are one of the um, products that you can either wear alone I don't think that you can see that on my skin I think my skin is a little bit too dark but it has a little pinky rose color to it and this one is 235 Grenache Grenache and it has a little cute pinky nude color with it and I would probably wear it with a lip liner um, just so you can give definition to my lips um, the next color that I got was Cabernet and I, I really really like the deep color of this lip gloss you can see it right here you can see it right there yeah it's right there and it also gives a little pop of color but um for me, the payoff with um, these aren't that, you know, aren't that strong. So I think that I would have to maneuver the colors or add another kind of gloss in order to get the kind of color that I enjoy. The next thing that I purchased was the L'Oreal One Sweet Sculpting Duo, where it comes with a blush and a sculpting powder that you can use as a bronzer and this is called Posh Chic it's number 835 and I really enjoy this it gives me a little bronzy glow I tried this out the other day when we went out to the Dogwood Festival and I got huge compliments um, so um, and I'm really excited because I'm normally not a drugstore fan I am a label a label whore and I don't mean it by that way but I just feel more 
um, confident when I'm wearing something that I know that's tried and true and the, the brand has been around for a long time and I'm able to be able to swatch it and I'm able to have a makeup artist apply it to my face in order for me to be confident enough to make the purchase. The only thing that I don't like about dr drugstore brands is that the fact that you can't swatch but of course you know everyone swatches because you're always coming across different um, containers that have been open but I was not disappointed with this um, all I did was sweep it over my forehead and over my cheeks and um, down my bridge of my nose and it gave a great payoff the last but not least is my Milani blush I am in love with this blush and I don't know why I guess um it, it just gives me a little glow and also a little, um, it just looks like I'm tanned. Um, this color that I have is a very Amore. It's a baked powder blush. It comes with a little, um, brush underneath, but I am, I always use my makeup brushes in order to give the payoff that I enjoy. So these are the things that I purchased at the drugstore. I hope that you enjoyed this haul and just leave your comments below on different things that you have found at your drugstore and let me know what sales you might have or things that you might have found over on websites and things of that nature. I'm always on the lookout for something brand new. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this haul and we will see you soon. I am so happy that I have gained some new subscribers and I'm so excited about making more videos. Please make sure that you hit me up on social media. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Keek. And also, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.